Hello guys, welcome to OnlyVMware.com. We are completing the video series of building the VMware lab using VMware Workstation. So in the first video, we have covered the basic software and the hardware requirements for the lab and VMware Workstation installation and basic configurations. In this video, we will create a Windows virtual machine. The operating system will be Windows 2008 R264 bit version. We will install the VMware tools inside the VM. We will set up the sysprep script. Once the virtual machine is created with all those settings, we will just shut it down and we will make a template using that VM. Actually, we will convert that VM to a template. And then we will also require to take the snapshot. If we would like to just clone or creating a virtual machine using that template, then we require the snapshot. So let's start. Let's create the VM. We can create the virtual machine from here as well as from here. Custom configuration to check all options. Workstation 10, you can uh, choose previous versions if required. Next, I'll install the operating system later. Choose the operating system and the version. These are the available operating systems supported by VMware Workstations. Next, Let's give the name for the virtual machine. So it is recommended to always give the name which can just state the identity of the virtual machine. So Win2K8 R2 Base Template. This is the location of the virtual machine. Next, one CPU, one core. RAM will be 4096. Let's give 4 GB RAM we will add the network letter this is the LSI logic SAS SCSI controller so for Windows 2008 it is recommended to have SAS controller SCSI recommended ok let's create the new disk if you have a VMDK available then we can just use the second option the 40 GB is the size of the VM we can reduce the size if you don't have the remaining space available then you can just reduce the size let's store the virtual disk as a single file if we will split virtual disk into multiple files then it will create uh, multiple VMDK files ok this is the name of the VMDK file finish let's edit the settings of the virtual machine let's delete the unnecessary hardware we don't require sound card, we don't require USB controller, we don't require printer. Just confirm all those settings. Just add the ISO image of the Windows 2008 R2. VMware installers, Windows 2008 R2, connect at power on. Other options are also there, but I will show you uh, at the time of the sharing the virtual machines, making a template, I'll show you the remaining options. Okay. So that's it for now. Okay, let's power on the VM. So I assume everybody is aware of the Windows installation. Let's proceed. Next, select the language, time, install. Let's choose the data center full installation, which has the less disk space required. I uh, accept next custom select the partition next so now it will take say five to six minutes the installation is now finished let's set the password Windows 2008 requires to set the strong password Next, password changed. Now we have to install the VMware tools. You will find the graphics difference after the installation of the VMware tools. So how to install the VMware tools? Press Ctrl Alter to remove the mouse from the console of the VM. Right click to the VM, install VMware tools. This will mount the VMware tools in the virtual machine and the auto run script will run just run it 
so guys uh, while installing the vmware tools i would like to explain you that why do we need the vmware tools for the virtual machines vmware tools is actually the free set of drivers and the utilities that enhances both the performance of the virtual machine and the guest operating system and the interaction between the guest operating system and the host machine so when the environment will be vSphere and the virtual machine so the communication between the virtual machine and the ESX server the better interaction happens because of the VMware tools VMware tools also install the device drivers so those device drivers will be replaces many of the guest operating system drivers for the physical hardware to ensure the network connectivity and just prevent the drive compatibility issues because here we will use the VMFS so those compatibility issues will be removed VMware device drivers will smoothly run the mouse operations and it, it makes a folder sharing available and improve the sound graphics and the network performance VMware services will also be enabled that services will be handled the communication between the guest and the host as I told you the, the program runs in the background actually for the Windows virtual machine it is named as VM tools d.exe and uh, it also enables the VMware user process that provides the administrator with the ability to just cut and paste some text between the VMware remote console and the host operating systems and it also improves the mouse pointer and the screen resolution functionality so all these are the features of VMware tools so let's proceed with the installation it's a simple installation just next custom just to show you next install the installation is finished finish restart the virtual machine yes now as the drivers are installed so you can see the graphics difference the window was small now it is expanded okay so all the drivers are now installed let's proceed with the further settings let's log in to the VM you can right click here and send control alter delete the other way is right click here and send control alter delete let's type the password enter the VM is now ready if you wish to update the windows or do some windows patching then for that you will require the network access internet access but right now as you know that we have not added the network card for this virtual machine so we need to add the network card I'll, I'll show you that how to add the network card but we will not perform the windows updates it will take a lot of time so I'll just right click here go to settings add network card next I'll select the bridge because I need to use the host internet connection the physical server internet connection I'll simply replicate that's it ok it will now find the network card drivers it will install the NIC card that's it it's done now you can just confirm by clicking to the internet explorer and type google.com so ok it's done we have the internet access now so you can perform windows updates patching if you wish to just install the antivirus you can do that you can update that antivirus also or any third party application which you think is mandatory for security reasons as per your environment details you can do that and then just make a template now we will see the sysprep script so now the question is what is sysprep why do we need to run the sysprep script first of all uh, just to let you know that when you create the virtual machine or a clone from the template inside the vSphere environment then it automatically creates a separate GUID for the new newly created VM but here in workstation we need to uh, create the sysprep for that otherwise it won't do that when, when you use the vSphere to deploy the VM from templates using guest customization you don't need to run sysprep for your base VM as vSphere will handle all these things but VMware workstation doesn't have this functionality so th that's why you need to run sysprep on the templates to generalize it ok so let's proceed for that I'll, I'll show you the path where you can find the sysprep default windows sysprep we can find the sysprep in windows system32 folder go to my computer C 
windows system 32 sysprep sysprep just double click on it generalize it select the same first line and shut it down that's it now next time when it boots it will automatically ask for the authentication okay done so let's consider that everybody has done the windows updates patching the software updates so just remove the internet connection because we don't need the internet connection for the other cluster VMs so just remove it that's it now we will check how to make it a template so this is the virtual machine just right click to it go to the settings in the options you will find the advanced and just enable template mode for this virtual machine okay once we click this the option it will automatically convert it to template so that's it it is done so after that we need to take the snapshot of this VM so take this snapshot snapshot so just name it this snapshot includes sysprep windows updates patches take the snapshot from the next video we will just create the clone using this template right click manage clone and it will create a new virtual machine with the new GUID for that and while cloning it will ask you the which snapshot I should choose for the clone then this you choose the snapshot we have created it's snapshot one okay so we are done with this video for now